Executing test cases to create test results is done from the test runs. So I open a test run here, and in order to execute a test case, I click on the execution button to create a new test result. And we can see that some of the test instruction fields are available here. They're copied from the test case, but they're read only since we do not want the tester to change the test input during testing. Aligned elements will automatically uh, record who did the test and when it was performed. I get the object under test here automatically from the test run, and I can fill out some results and add objective evidence in these fields or add them as attachments. I will fail this test case. So I write down here that this does not work. Uh, the device fails to start up. And I can now optionally create a bug report, either using aligned elements internal issue tracking system, or if correctly set up, uh, an external bug in an external tra bug tracking system such as Jira, Azure DevOps, or GitHub. And this bug will be automatically traced from the test. So let's create an issue here. And we record that. I'll fail the test case and store my results. And once completed, we can see that the results show up in the test grid and also in the test run statistics. If for some reason we want to update a test case, let's do that. We go to this test case and we click edit. Aligned elements will notify us that changing the test case might invalidate the current test result. We can't just change test cases and hope that the existing results are consistent with that change. Now, if we do choose to proceed and update the test case, like this, And we go back to the test run. We can now see that aligned element has marked this as gray and we need to tell aligned element uh, what is the impact of this change. And if I choose to uh, take this new test uh, case change into consideration, we can tell aligned elements that the change was minor and that it does not affect the current execution and we declare the current result as being valid or we click uh, yes indicating that the change was major and we want to test or execute the test again so let's do that and we can now see that the test result has been removed indicating that we need to rerun the test so let's do that and this time I'll pass the test. Click save. And we're done.